previously on the Captain's Log, Captains Jonathan Moss and Max McKinley found themselves off the coast of Louisiana, sight fishing giant schools of redfish. On this episode, their day continues with an ongoing pursuit of monster reds. So stick around and see how it all unfolds as we flip through the pages of the Captain's Log. I see a nice wad of them though at your uh, at your one o'clock up there about 100 feet or so. There's a pretty good wad of them. I got thumped. Hey, they're floating on the surface at your uh, one o'clock, like 100 feet. Turn your head, tilt your head to the right. See them out there? Yeah, oh, I got, I got, I got right Big there. Big one, dude. Yeah, hold on. Let me get you closer. Nice. I lost him. So dirty. Okay, keep your eyes out. It looked like a giant one floating. I got one right here. Yeah. There's, a, there's yep. one on the other yeah, side of the two. Jig it, jig it, jig it. Got him, got him. He came Back up in 80. Did you see him do that Smoked. 180? Smoked it, dude. Look at all of them blowing out. <laughs> Did you see him oh, turn yeah. around and oh, yeah. spin on it? Golly, yeah, that was boat, awesome. Under, under the boat. Oh. Hop down, hop down. He's coming, he's coming, he's out. <laughs> oh, look at him in front of the boat. Ah, there's like a hundred of them. Oh, we found the meat, dude. I'm looking at such nice <laughs> ones down there. Max, we need to get you rigged up, get you a rod. So you're pulling me now, right? Yeah, I'm I'll pull kidding. you. I'll pull you. <laughs> I'm messing with you. Too. I've caught a few, brother. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right, Max. Here she comes, brother. Here yeah. she comes. Yes, sir. Ooh. Awesome. Nice fish, dude. I'm gonna DOA shrimp right in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, dude. They awesome. came up and just crunched that DOA. Heck yeah, man. I'm gonna release your shallow. So cold. He's like, what just happened to me? <laughs> yes, sir. Thanks, bro. Of course. <laughs> I'm gonna get us off this sand real quick, all right? The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Softwash Systems, is being brought to you by Softwash Systems. Build your dream. Florida fishing products. Fish Better, Fish Florida, Icon Coolers, Cool for Life, Danko Pliers, the largest selection on the planet, DOA Lures, The Unfair Advantage, East Cape Boats, and Go Castaway Fishing Charters. I don't think that's all fish. Up there it is though. Yeah, further out. You see those? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, you're behind them. Pick it up, go right. Yep, strip, 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 strip. You're behind him, backhand. Oh. Yep, link, let it sink. Strip it. Backhand, backhand, backhand. Drop it. Yep. Okay, let that sink. Start stripping. They're further out. They're going left now. Uh, pick it up, go again. Yep. Strip, 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 strip. Oh. Trip, 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 trip. Oh, you pulled it away. Trip, 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 trip. Go again, go again. He's coming at me. He's yeah, coming yeah, at me. Yeah. 
You're fa go to the, go further. Oh, no, they're right underneath me. Okay, okay. They look a little deep. I'd go for the ones that float high. Yep. Drop it. That was a nice cast. Let it sink. Start stripping. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yep. oh keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Pick it up, go again, pick it up, go again. He's coming at me. Drop it. Don't pull that rod away. Keep that rod tip down. Got him, got nice. him, baby. Good job, dude. Yeah, bro! Very good job. Yeah! <laughs> Man, I've been trying so hard. <laughs> finally, out, finally, dude. We finally suck him. Here, watch this, watch this. Get, get double up, bro. My adrenaline, dude. Oh, 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 oh. oh. He swiped at it. <laughs> dude, oh. Max, thank you for your patience, dude, bro. Cool. I have that's blown cool. so okay. many shots. Um, it's okay, man. You had plenty of shots there that they should have ate on. They're, they're just cold, man. They're just cold. Don't let them get to you too bad. I'm sure I'm about to blow a bunch. Good fish. Yeah, nice one. Good fish. Very nice one. Off he goes. Just bring that line right over my head. Yeah, there you go. Go down one more time. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, bro. Come on, girly. Smoke that fly. Yeah. Yeesh. If I have to let her go, I will. Awesome, dude. Get him. Nice fish, yeah. dude. Good yes, one. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Good redfish, man. Came up and ate that fly. Heck yeah. <laughs> nice one. This thing is buried in there. Demolished. Awesome. Awesome. Beautiful redfish here in Louisiana. We've taken them on a 1,000, the 3,000 on a fly. Awesome, awesome job. All right, Max, man, we have worked so hard, brother. You have been pulling <laughs> and I have been making bad casts. And hey, finally, man. we got the right cast in front of the right fish. Yes, sir. Off it goes. Woo. See ya. <laughs> Good work, bro. Thanks, dude. Yeah, of course. Hey, this is Captain Jonathan Moss with your Tackle Box Tip. Guys, today I want to talk about something that we all need to be reminded of, and that's sun protection. Whether you use sunscreen, a buff, or if you're like me, you prefer to use apparel like this from Skinny Water Culture, stuff that keeps you protected, covers my hands, covers my neck and my ears with the hood. It is vital that we are constantly thinking about sun protection. Skin cancer runs in my family, and if you're like me and you're on the water all the time, it is important that we're protecting ourselves so we can continue to do what we love, and that's go fishing. This is Captain Jonathan Moss with your Tackle Box Tip. Oh, wow. They're in your range, they're right in front of you. Yeah, they're right in front of me. Oh, oh, you're in them, you're in them. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, he turned on it. Eat it, fish, eat it, fish. I'm just gonna bomb it. There's a million. I got eaten like three times right there. I just didn't hold it. Is that them right there? That's them right there. Come on, eat it. Pick up a throw. I just don't know where they are. Oh yeah. Just behind them. Just behind them. Yeah, like dropped on me. Oh, oh, you're in the money. Eat it. Oh, 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 he got it. 
Stick him? You got him? Yeah, man! <laughs> I had him, I was just trying to catch up to him. Golly! He's coming at me. Yes, sir! There's a few with him. Get out of here. <laughs> Look at them all floating right there. Get the spinning rod, John. I'm trying. They're all floating right there, dude. Reel it, reel it. Come on. Let that sink. Dig it. Oh, he hit it. Ate it on the drop, huh? Ate it on the drop. <laughs> all right, I'll get this in. I'll land your fish for you, brother. Mm -hmm. Get him in the boat. Now watch this, a little trick a friend and mentor, Paul Lappin, taught me. Grab the line, strip out a bunch, and and you can land your own fish. Got him, dude. Oh yeah. I still got that school right here. I'm oh, seeing if I can keep, double up. Keep, keep trying, dude. Just let it sink to bottom and kind of play it like that. Yes, little, sir. Little chunk. Yes, sir. They're all so fat, man. I don't understand. Awesome job, homie. Thank you, sir. Awesome job right here, dude. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well done, my friend. Of course. Well done. I tell you, I wasn't a good friend there. I didn't want to help you because I wanted to stick another <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, I want you to stick one. I can land them. One tailing right there. Yep. Drop it. Reel it slow. Nice and easy. You're way far They're past right here. them all. They're right here. Yeah, yeah, you're far past them all. Start reeling. There's some right there There's, too. They're right here, right? I know, I know. I just want to make sure you finish your cast. They're right here. <laughs> all right, here we go. Right past them. Right there. Uh, rod tip high, bro. Rod tip high. You're just going to snag one. Flip it, right here. Jig it. Jig it. Oh wow, there's so many. Nice and slow, rod to pie, rod to pie. They don't like that. They're all on your right, bro. Got him. Oh, got him. Got him, I saw him come up and eat it. I'm gonna get the fly rod out. Oh, there's so many around us. Yeah, there's thousands. You wanna switch places? Yeah, yeah, come up and throw a fly on them. Dude, they're right Max, we've had so many fish around us today. I know. What an opportunity <laughs> to come out here. Oh, yeah. We have not caught a small fish today. Oh, no. There's one right under your fly. I know. Anyways. Oh, oh what is it? Oh, oh dude! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> I told you you were going to stick one up there, man. Got was, the double. I was just about to say, oh, they're spooking though. And then one came up and smoked it. Got one on fly. Look at, oh, you just blew up the school here on the left. Oh, there's a bun. One on fly, one on spin. Doesn't get any better than that, brother. That is what Louisiana is all about, my friend. Mm. There's so many. Got it. On that gold spoon. Yeah. Where's your fish at? He's smoking me back here. Smoking me. It was like, oh, we blew them out. Oh, there's more right there. Oh, there's more right there. <laughs> Where do I throw? Anywhere. Several doubles today, bro. Oh, yeah. Here comes your fish. Yeah, that's a good one. It's crazy being out here so often and seeing the differences in water temperature and how they act when it's and... cold, how they act when it's warm. Yeah, man, it really Finding is. Finding that sweet spot. Yeah, it's crazy. It really is. They've been pretty finicky today which is not common, it's not what we're known for here, but 
you know. Even on a finicky day, you can still catch <laughs> 10 over 20 pounds. Give a little pull here. And do that one. I like that little trick you got there. Yeah, it's, it's a good one. It works. Let's you get it in your hands and not have to deal with all the all the fly line anymore. Crazy how, how little fish fight once you start hand lining them. Another nice one. Awesome job, bro. Halfway know what we're doing. A little bit, maybe, not really. <laughs> hey, yours is a little bit bigger than mine, bro. A little chunkier. Hey, you've been pushing all day. Uh, you deserve that <laughs> fish, bro. Appreciate it, man. Look how beautiful these fish are. So pretty. Mine's got a super blue tail. Chunky. Every fish we've every, caught has every been fish. chunky. I don't know what it is, because, you know, these fish are are not known for being as fat as the fish that are closer to the closer to the boat ramp there. I think that with this super cold snap that we just had for the past week, it just they must have just been stuffing themselves with crabs or something. Look at them all blowing up right yeah, there. Yeah. That's all fish. They're stuffing themselves. Alright, let's something. get these unbuttoned and uh, back in the water and stick some more. Alright bro, I'm gonna throw mine in here. You get yours on the other side. One sec, bro. I got Come here. Hi, right, pretty girl. Thank you. Thanks for the fun. Awesome fish. Uh, Max, I'll, you let go of yours? I'll go on. All right, there goes mine. See ya. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Louisiana magic right there, brother. Oh, yeah. The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Software Systems, is sponsored in part by these fine companies. Oh, I, I see him. I see him. 12 o'clock. Yep. 12 yep. o'clock. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Try to get that one. Oh, I'm going to try. Oh, yeah. Nice and high. Yep. I think you're a little... Pre oh, there's a bunch. You're going to get one. You have to get one. Really? They're still there. Go again. They're still there. There's so many. They're all big. Yep. Rod tip high. Straight reel. Nice and straight. Got him. Nice, dude. Got him. That is sight fishing at its finest, my friend. Yes, sir. Oh, this fish is going under the boat. <laughs> Bro, just to see them up on the surface, That's the, best, man. the sun, dude, it's golden hour, the sun is lighting them up. Yes, sir. It that is, is what I'm talking about. It is the best. And he just came up and ate that DOA swim bait. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'll come down and land it for you, all right, brother? Ugh. Grab that push pull in there, and then here she comes. Yes, sir. Look at there. Perfect. Nice fish. They've all been in that same, we've caught some a little bit bigger, but we haven't caught any smaller than that 30 inch mark. Yeah, majority have been right around that teenage size today. Was, <laughs> you're saying, oh man, Dill, those are small fish. Don't throw those fish. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a really nice fish, man. Now there's, there's some days you come out here and there's, they're all 20 pounds and sometimes you get a bunch of these, which are great. And then Couple, you saw a couple in there. There's a couple that are floating couple high. Giants. That, yeah, exactly. So they kind of mix and, you know. Awesome. Let's get back in the water and head on in, brother. Yes, sir. Look how clean that water is now. So pretty. Yeah. I'll just clean up more and more overnight. Less wind there is. 
All right, buddy. Here you go. You ready? See you later. Gone. What a day, my friend. Yes, sir. What a day. Thank awesome. you. Of Whoa. course. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. We're freezing. Let's go get some uh, etouffee. Oh, yeah. Some beignets. Something hot. Yes, what do you sir. say, homie? Sounds good, bro. Let's do it. The day started with frigid conditions. The water slicked out. Skies were clear blue. Excellent conditions for sight fishing on the flats. With the seasoned local captain, it was only a matter of finding the fish before the fun began. And they found the fish. Using only artificial lures and flies, the redfish were no match for these seasoned fishermen in their element. The day was long, exhilarating, and exhausting, which is just what a perfect day of fishing should be. After all, when you've got a good buddy, a skiff, perfect weather, and droves of redfish, what more can you ask for? It was another memorable entry in the captain's log. Jig it. He turned. He turned from it. <laughs> Dang it, man. <laughs> he ate it, too. Oh, he ate it. And I said him, but I put it right out of front of him. <laughs> oh, man.